Hey guys, so in an effort to make more projects that everyone can do, I'm going to show you guys three of the best ways to make paper airplanes. And I'm also going to throw in a few tricks to make your airplane experience more fun. Also, for those of you who like my more advanced projects, don't worry, there's more on the way. Oh yeah, and one last thing, the music you hear in this video is courtesy of Double Helix Beats. He's the one who gets me all my music, so be sure to check out his channel and subscribe. Okay, so for materials, um, I guess just a piece of paper. Alright, moving on. So let's start out with a simple one. This plane should be like your Big Mac, your go-to, when you can't think of anything else to make. It's fast, it's simple, and it works. So first up is the Harrier. Okay, so grab a piece of 85 by 11 and fold it in half the long way. Now remember, the more precise you are, the better it will fly. That's why it's a good idea to use something like a popsicle stick to crease the paper. Next step is to fold down the top corners using the popsicle stick as a guide. Next, fold the entire front part down so the tip is about an inch from the end. Then again, fold the top corners over using the popsicle stick. Then fold up the small bottom piece and fold the whole plane in half. Finally, fold down the wings so they're level with the bottom edge. And now you're ready to fly. The best way I found is to give the plane a gentle push. Also, if you're going outside to fly, make sure there's no wind, because that'll mess it up. Alright, let's move on to something a little bit different. This next method is great for playing catch with someone. It's a paper circle plane. Just grab a piece of paper and fold it in half. Then fold the side with the fold over itself, uh, about a half an inch. Then run the paper over a crease to give it a curl. Then fold it into a circle and tuck one edge into the other. Finally tape it in place. I also added some tape on the other side just for balance. Now throw this like you would a football. It works best if you exaggerate the spin and throw it diagonally across your body. Actually, aim for a spot about 45 degrees to the side of where you want it to go. This thing has crazy curve, but you guys will get the hang of it. Alright, so far we have covered the basics with the classic airplane and a slightly different side. But it's 2015 and we have technology. That's right, rubber bands. They're going to take this fun to a whole new level. Alright, first let's make a paper plane slingshot. Just grab your plane and tape up the front sides. A lot. Next, grab some scissors and make a small cut like this on the front of your plane. Or you can take a 2 inch square piece of paper and fold it like this. And then attach it to the plane with some tape. Both ways work. Alright, to make a launcher, just grab about 5 popsicle sticks and wrap the rubber band around 3 of them. Then take 2 more and put them on the outside. And then tape the whole thing up. Honestly, you could just use anything as a launcher, just as long as it fits in your hand and it has a rubber band on it. Alright, let's test it out. I ended up adding a few more rubber bands onto mine to make it go farther. Just hook the rubber band onto the plane, pinch it, pull it back, and let it go. As you can see, this makes the plane fly a lot farther. Also, another tip is to add some weight to the front end, like a screw, but do what works best for you. Alright, another way to take advantage of this amazing rubber band technology is to make a propeller. Now, I have an old toy helicopter that I ripped the blades off of, but you can even make this out of cutting out and bending a part of a soda bottle. Then I glued the blades onto a piece of thick wire and poked a hole in a small piece of plastic. Then I bent the wire and attached the plastic part to a wooden skewer. Now, I know this is supposed to be a paper plane, but technically wood is just a less refined version of paper, right? I hooked the rubber band to the wire and the other end of the skewer. Now when I wind it up, it spins. Alright, just need to color the prop gold. Time to put this on a plane. Now, I modeled this after a balsa wood glider because those seem to work the best. And I also used a few skewers as supports. But you can, in theory, hook this on any paper airplane to prove the distance. And it's time for testing. As you can see, this gets a crazy distance. I got mine over 100 feet, and this is all made out of paper. Well, and a little wood, and a propeller. But anyway, the point is, if you want to make the best paper airplanes, follow these tips and tricks, and you won't be sorry. So if you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more awesome videos. 
Also go check out my Facebook and Instagram. Get notified there as well. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to Double Helix Beats for some awesome music. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.